Good morning, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Please kneel for the prayer to Jesus, the divine word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, divine word made flesh, from the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you are Son, and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here, so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and the Holy Spirit. In love and service, we will likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name, we pray now, always and in all ways. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Once again, good morning, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is the second Friday in the second week of Easter. Our Mass presider for today is Reverend Father Ronnie Chrysostomo SVD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Church celebrates today the memorial of St. Anselm, Bishop and Martyr of, and Doctor of the Church, was known in the Middle Ages as the father of that theology called scholasticism. And uh, he is known for his, this definition of faith as faith as uh, seeking understanding. Uh, we thank God for giving us such a great person to help us understand and deepen our understanding of faith. To celebrate worthily this Eucharist, we ask God's mercy and forgiveness. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 
Let us pray. O God, who led the Bishop Saint Anselm to seek out and teach the depths of your wisdom, grant, we pray, that our faith in you may so aid our understanding that what we believe by your command may give delight to our hearts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A Pharisee and Sanhedrin named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, respected by all the people, stood up, ordered the apostles to be put outside for a short time, and said to the Sanhedrin, Fellow children of Israel, be careful what you are about to do to these men. Some time ago, Theodos appeared claiming to be someone important, and about 400 men joined him, but he was killed. And all of those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. After him, Judas came to Galilee at that time of the census. He also drew people after him, but he too perished, and all who were loyal to him were scattered. So now I tell you, have nothing to do with these men and let them go. For if this endeavor or this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may be even find yourselves fighting against God. They were persuaded by Him. After recalling the apostles, they have them fog ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus and dismiss them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. All the day long, both at the temple and their homes, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my life refuge. Of whom shall I afraid? One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate His temple. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage, stud hearted and wait for the Lord. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. We honor the Holy Gospel. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him 
because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, Where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Two hundred days' wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what good are these for so many? Jesus said, Have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that, in that place. So the men reclined about 5,000 in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish they wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to the disciples, gather the fragments left over so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled twelve wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We continue to meditate on the meaning of this great feast, the great truth of our faith, the resurrection of the Lord. And this is exemplified in the text of the first reading. The uh, background is the, the question of uh, this new way now, being uh, propagated by the disciples of the risen Lord. And the authorities that time were at a loss what to do with this. Powerful, brave, courageous men proclaiming that this Jesus that they, they crucified is now alive. And... Uh, we see here a very important criterion in decision-making of this group, the Sanhedrin, with the help of one of them, Gamaliel, no? a teacher of the law, respected by all. And uh, his point that can still be also for us an important principle his this one is his point was well we have to take no his his argument was let's take for example groups that sprung up in the past proclaiming that this doing the will of god that uh, many followed them several groups but they all ended up in defeat or were killed or perished. Now, the point, therefore, of this uh, teacher Gamaliel is, well, be careful in dealing with this group, now, the group of the, uh, the apostles. Now, because as they said, if this one is of human origin, it will also die out. 
But if it is God's work, maybe you are fighting against God. And that is one of the criteria of, uh, I think, a very safe criterion in looking at the reality, for example, like the church. One of the characteristics, I think, that we can be proud, proud of is it's that until now, with all the difficulties, the ups and downs, corruptions, difficulties, weaknesses of the church as an institution and as a and because of us who are frail members of the church yet it persists and still alive proclaiming trying to be faithful to its mission and that is one of the uh, proofs as we can see that indeed taking from a cue from this principle given by Gamaliel no, that indeed it is the work of God and it is rooted in the mystery of Jesus' resurrection that he has won over sin and death and this is the message again for all of us dear friends as we uh, continue to relish this victory of Jesus over sin and death, that it is seen concretely in the life, in the courage, and the joy of the disciples, and, of course, the existence of the church. We ask then the Lord to help us also to be... Uh, to put our bases, our roots in this mystery of the Lord's victory over sin and death, that in the midst of all the uncertainties of life, may we find this anchor in the resurrection of the Lord. And like the apostles, they followed him with joy, with courage, and proclaimed Him that truly He is risen. May we find also our courage, strength, and joy in, the, in Him, our Lord, our risen Lord. Amen. In the miracle of the feeding of 5,000 people, our Lord shows us the Father will give us everything we need. Let us ask Him for all the good things He can provide us. For every prayer, let our response be, Lord, give us our daily bread. Lord, give us our daily bread. That the leaders of the church may show the same compassion that prompted Jesus to feed the hungry crowd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord give, give us our, our daily, daily bread. bread. That Christians may imitate the young boy and share what they possess in their unprivileged. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord give, give us our, our daily, daily bread. bread. That young people may find Christ as the satisfaction for their thirst and hunger. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, give us our daily bread. That the sick may receive physical and spiritual help from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, give us our daily bread. That our beloved dead may come to the eternal feast in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, give us our daily bread. And in silence, we pray for our other and personal intentions.
and also the intentions of this Mass and those online worshipers joining us. We pray. Lord, give us our daily bread. Loving Father, hear the prayers of your people gathered to offer and receive the eternal gift, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Come to me and drink, come to me and drink, O let all who are thirsty, come to me and drink, I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live and know that I am the sons and your daughter shall prophesy. Come to me and drink, come to me and drink, all at all who are thirsty, come to me and drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon the sacred altar, on the feast day of blessed Anselm, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of Saint Anselm, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Onesto our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially those we remember in this Holy Mass. and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, Saint Anselm, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. The Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, you that you should enter under my lips, roof, but, but only, only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Amen. 
Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of blessed Anselm, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Regina Jelina.